Hello, this is Laurie Petrie with part two of the quick fix for the Land Rover Discovery 2 starter motor. In part one, we removed the actuator. All we have to do now is clean up the contact face. However, the electrical contact, the copper washer, is spring loaded so that it is able to rotate and move axially. The effect of the spring manifests itself when you're actually trying to machine it with a cutting tool. The force of the cutting tool can actually stop rotation of the copper washer and make it slide axially. A better idea is to use abrasive paper to simulate the grinding process. An added benefit of abrasive paper is that it reduces the cutting forces on the part, which means that we don't have to use any protection for the chuck jaws damaging the shaft. Gently tightening the jaws in a successive manner will ensure that the component is only lightly held. Carefully holding the paper so as not to get your hands caught in the revolving chuck. Very gently press the paper against the copper face. Look constantly to see how it is machining. Do not take too much off at one go. It is surprising how efficient this process is. When you are happy with the copper washer, all that remains to be done is to clean any swarf away and grinding grit and then put it back in the Land Rover. Always check that you have actually cleaned the fixed contacts in the solenoid casing and then reintroduce the actuator. I always put bolts in by hand first so as not to strip the thread. Once that has been done you can progressively tighten all of the bolts. Finally talking them up to the correct figure. The Land Rover may be now lowered to the ground. Once that has been done you can then reconnect the battery terminals. I always give the terminals a twist to ensure good contact. Starting with the positive first and then the negative. All that now remains is to start the engine and drive away. This repair could last up to 18 months or even longer depending on your usage. In part 3 I'll be showing you how to make a temporary repair using only a screwdriver and a nail file if you break down in the bush.